Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the realm of vast. And man, I almost forgot where I was. How about that? Well, oh, here we you know, every 460 episodes or so, I kind of forget what the the intro of the thing is. Anyway, hey, check it out. I've done a lot of work. Oh, man, I've done so much work. So last time I left you guys here. Now, I know we did a couple episodes away from here. We uh, uh, were had just started work on the palace, and the palace is uh, exterior-wise, for the most part, done. I think there's a little few little tweaks here and there that might work out. But, you know, I think we're in a good place, and I think we're at a place where I want to start working on something else around here that's going to be kind of fun we're gonna start that in just a minute but i thought first thing we should do is uh no fear there by the way i'm wearing a, wearing jackal there if you're wondering how to get this texture all you have to do is put a uh, uh a a blank png uh dropping in your texture back in the right folder if you want to know where that is you can just join my discord uh, linked in the uh, channel description below and uh yeah let's check it out so so this is the player base wagon everyone uh who plays currently in their own vast and gets a player base in any existing kingdom and 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 you get fast travel which is super cool um yeah so man man i've been working so much so 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 much on this whole thing it's it's really really coming together so this is the main thing the main sort of I guess road to get in you know it, it, it's small it's really tight one tight quarters and you can see there's not a lot uh you know of interiors done well there's a few not a lot though given how many places we have wait until you see the actual palace which i'm going to take you to in just a second but i just want to show you around some of these places like oh man i mean there's there's just so much and i've been trying to start putting stairs at least uh so we can lay out rooms within the towers and things like that but yeah it's gonna take a while it's gonna take a while it's gonna be quite a process for sure um this is the storage area just so you get a lay of the land this is actually supposed to be a cactus farm but i don't think it works i, I think silent craft started making a uh like an automatic cactus farm for me like a one single cactus that goes really fast i don't know i don't know how things work so, something like something about ticks and about zero ticks and what's going on here i don't know if that's supposed to be that way but let's continue okay so getting up to the palace i've done a lot of exterior work we'll take a look at that in just a second because i actually want to take some time and talk about this rather than just sort of show it and like whoop, done walk away i want to show all the stuff we've been doing if you're wondering what this texture is and this is black concrete uh, no, I'm sorry. This is black glazed terracotta, and every direction you face is a different is a different texture. So you get four different textures in this one block. Super cool. Okay, little things I've been working on. I've been working on like like little roofs, things like that. Like adding in stuff that is interesting. This storage room, not so much, but I did add a little bit of a water feature there, and I think nothing here yet. Nothing here. A uh, little bathrooms in here. Okay, so there's there's a use. You know, I think it's good. Over here, there's stairs, but we're gonna get to that in just a second. Let's take a look. This sitting room is now done. And I couldn't do very much with it other than just a couple chairs, honestly, because you, you walk right through it. Uh, this area here is just a way to get outside for construction purposes. And I don't know, maybe guards or who knows what. I've been trying to put pressure pads just so it always keeps the door closed because I neglect to close doors all the time. So that's nice. This was going to be a meeting room. This was going to be a room where maybe the King of Virio would meet uh, people in stuff like that. And I decided to move that to outside of his bedroom uh, because it's a little bit more personal. And so I just made this like uh, maybe a little like place where people can eat, like a little like cafe Starbucks, uh, Elven Starbucks, maybe something along those lines. And I didn't put, I didn't put like, uh, what I might do is I'm going to do a counter or something along here. I don't think I had, do I have any, uh, I do have this. I could, oh wait, no, I can't do that. I can do this. I don't know if that's, is that worse? Yeah, it's worse. Let's just get rid of that. We'll do something. I use spruce in this room so that way you can use the uh, scaffolding as tables because the texture matches. Uh, little things like this I've been adding in closets. Eventually, what I'll do is I'll put like a chest in there, and I just haven't done it yet. You know, same thing here, like some shelving, some stuff like that. Little more seats, and then this is the grand. Uh, this is supposed to be the grand eatery. So I need to add in some cake and plates and all that kind of stuff, which I will. I will in in good time. But let's go up the stairs. I'm going to start to show you the maze that I've created. Now I created a maze on purpose. This is here because this. Uh, see, that has to be there because that's outside. So uh, what I'm doing is I'm just putting a big painting there as like a mural. You know, that's eh, okay. It works works all right. Walk over here. I think you've seen this before. You saw a kitchen. Not much to it. Just a regular old kitchen. They prepare the food. Then they can go right downstairs and go to the, uh, the dining room. If you go over here, this is where the maze kind of starts. If you go over here, you're looking over this area. I thought that was kind of nice. And then it starts to get confusing. So here's a little storage room. You go through here 
and you're out here. Are you following along? <laughs> this is an open balcony that goes back to the kitchen. So uh, not a lot there, but if you go back through it and you go this direction, then you come out to this. This is going to be probably a, like a like a mass bedroom situation. Like maybe we'll have just a bunch of beds lined up somehow here for, you know, uh, staff or, or lowly workers of some sort, you know, you come out here and you're over here. So you see how this all sort of ties in together. Then you go over here and this is that stairway that I said, we'll come back to. Okay. So then there's going to be a quiz on this later. Just hang out for a second. Then you come over here and you'll see you're in what's going to be the King sitting room. This is going to be the room that I want the King to meet, uh, his people in. I did make a bed. I don't love it. It's not great. It's it's a starter. It's the beginning of a bed. I wanted to try this. I think it's kind of crappy, but you know, it's okay for now. Bed, the King of Hero has a big bed. Who knows what sort of things go on in this room. And then you leave here and man, check this out. So then you're over here and you walk out here and you are back in the kitchen. Okay. So you see, it's all just kind of loop, keeps looping around. This is the King's sitting room. But if you go up here, then you're at another section. This is more more red sand. So as you go up, you start granite, then you get to red sand, and then eventually you get to acacia. Uh, outside this tower, this is a tower we did live on uh, live stream on twitch.tv slash fixit412 if you're curious to join us. And uh, not a lot going on here. There, I couldn't figure out a way to get let you walk the whole way around and keep this sort of like arch system that I have here, which I think worked out really well. But... Uh, this is going to be probably housing. I'm pretty sure this is going to be like living quarters and like a lot of them. Look at the view. These people have a view, man. So uh, there's not a lot done here uh, yet. We're just sort of ramping up for living quarters. But what I love about this is it connects. So what you can do is you can go through here and then you're out along here. This is so confusing. It's unbelievable. I love it so much. Okay. So you're in a different tower now, actually. So this is what connects this little nature section. See how high up we're getting? We're getting up there high. Uh, you over here and you're in <laughs> this area, which this is like the botanical garden. And where that is, is right here. Okay. So now we're, uh, there's actually a, a room over here that I haven't done as well. So like we gotta we gotta work on all these. I'm gonna be doing a lot of these interiors on Twitch. I think I think that's a nice place. People can give me some tips because I'm not the interior master. Uh, this is that that room, and then you come up here, and there's more rooms, and there's there's you know lots of ways up. You just keep on going, and you just keep going up the tower. So this is one tower. This is actually the other tower. They kind of connect there again. Um, you go up here. I think actually, I think maybe I blocked off the way up there. Yeah, I think I did by accident. Man, anyway, just more more towers. What well, I don't know what that. Maybe maybe more living quarters. I don't know. I'm not sure exactly. But if you go on the outside of this, I think this is really cool. So if you go on the outside, let me see. I spend a lot of time getting lost here. Honestly, a lot of time. If you go over here, then you're back outside again, at a different outside thing. And if you go over here, this is going to be more bedrooms. Now, this is definitely bedrooms because these are small. And this one, again, same thing. It just keeps on going up. More, like, empty rooms for living quarters, all that kind of stuff. Like, you see how, yeah, you see how, see how much we have to do? <laughs> we have a lot. We're going to Twitch a lot. Uh, and then, after you go over here, there's another way out. There's over this. This is brand new. So I just did this this morning. This is a little walkway, and this walkway is cool. So you walk down this walkway. It's, I love the open air bit. I love the open air bit. I think it, it adds so much to the exterior. I think it's really cool. So then you come down here, you go down these maze of stairs and you're at this area, right? Pretty cool. This little closet, that's going to be for, you know, chests and stuff. But you come down here and you're in some sort of back hallway corridor thing and you're back out here. So see how this all connects? Uh, there's another outside walkway and I'm not totally sure I know how to get there. Uh, I think it might be this one. Now, okay, now we're getting to the point where maybe I'm a little bit lost. Oh, I started this. I don't know what we're going to do with this. This is actual ceiling, so I can't do anything about it. This may just be, we may just do storage in there. I, it was there, so I thought we should use it. Okay, right, all right, okay. So that's how you got there. This is the king's sitting room. That's the king's bedroom. And this is uh, the way you get outside over there, which I think is kind of kind of a cool Thing. Did I see everything? Did I show everything? Maybe I did. I feel like there's there's more. Oh, this is another balcony. So then I did a third balcony up here. Uh, or a second. I guess a second balcony. A third floor. Looking over. You can barely see it. But see, there's a sitting room over there. And if you walk out this way, this is the other walkway. So this way you can walk down to this one, which is actually a different room uh, than we were in before. So there's, there's multiple outside entryways and uh, at little terraces back um yeah what, not back uh what balconies that kind of yeah it's, it's cool i love it 
I love it so much. So let me take inspect here. We're going to talk about the outside just a wee bit. Oh, man. Oh, man. What about this? What about this place? Is this not cool? This is the tower we did on Twitch yesterday. Yeah, it was yesterday. So I spent a lot of time after a stream and at nighttime after after I had a work meeting. I actually, as a musician, it's weird to have a work meeting, but I actually had a work meeting. And afterwards, I got on for quite a while and did a lot of grind, sort of shooting the breeze a little bit with Old Gray Man and, and, and doing some stuff here. But yeah. Yeah, it's coming along. It's coming along. You know, one thing I did, I added the flowers. The flowers add a lot. I, I decided to go with all the red and, and orange here and uh i have a little bit left although i'm just about out but one thing i try to do is every time it texture changes like i go from granite on the main wall i'm talking like the back wall you know up to die right up there i tried to give a little bit of a depth thing which i usually try to do and it adds a lot this you know some some areas may be a little bit busy like this x is probably too busy to be honest but i'm gonna live with it for now because i think it looks cool from the ground I really like the top of this. You can barely see it, but I did, I changed out the footprint on the top of this little building, so it's actually like a, I don't know, like it like the letter B. It's actually like the letter B, and and I left this open. I thought that was kind of cool. I don't know what's going to go up there, but uh, it's kind of cool. So here's the castle as it stands now. Man, loving it, loving it. I'm loving it. This is so fun. It's such a cool build. Uh, it's such a cool build. Like, I'm so psyched about it. I don't really know what exactly I want to do next. I think the next thing to do, well, we're in, I need to do a lot of interior work and, and, and all that kind of stuff. But I want to get all the towers done, you know, so I can start working on that stuff later. Because even once these towers get done, there's so much going on underneath. I'm going to let you in on a little secret of what I'm planning. Okay, so if you go underneath, since we're inspecting here, I can do, show you this. If you go underneath, if you go in this part, this is where the King Talatal and the Enderman uh, talk to each other in, in this little area. I do need to go, I do need to go mining, uh, what are these beacons or uh, end crystals? Yeah, I need to go mining gas tiers to get the end crystals. But if you go down here, this is going to be a big nature spot and have some Enderium crystals, some giant Enderium crystals. They're going to be poking through right through here. And I need to come up with a design for Enderium crystals. And I don't have one. I'll be honest, I don't have one. I also want to do more of this piping. Um, this piping, because this piping supplies Enderium to the main island, which is a really, really important thing for the lore. Like, they have to have Enderium or else this island is going to fall to the ground. So uh, I would do want to do a bit of an Enderium... Uh, like power plant down here, but then up here I have another plan. So if you, I'm gonna let, now I'm gonna let you in a little secret here. So don't ruin, don't tell anybody, okay? But if you go underneath, let me just see where it is. Where it's, it's under here, okay? If you go under here, there's a little walkway. This is a, this is a little tunnel. This is how you get around. If you go down here, this is gonna we're gonna cut out all this and we're gonna do uh, soul sand and do alchemy and do alchemy brewing stations here. But I have another idea. The Enderman are very curious. I'm sorry. The elves are very curious to what is going on with the nether and stuff like that. And you know what I was thinking would be really cool? What if we did a nether research institute here? Like an elven nether research institute. So what I'm thinking, and I may be so mad at myself for even thinking about this. I'm thinking that we turn this into the nether. That's kind of what I'm thinking. We turn it into the nether and we make science stations for the elves. Now that is a huge project. <laughs> That's a huge project, but I think it would be really, really cool. And if you look up here, yeah, right here, right? If you look up here, then all we have to do is then we could just have like a little like walkway that kind of goes down. Uh, maybe even make a fake nether fortress. I mean, this is black wool, so we can't go there because that's going to mess up what's on the inside of this, right? So it has to be on the outside, but we could make some cool geography here. I'm really, really thinking about it, and I realize what that means. I really do. I realize what that means. Um, that's my wool farm over there. So I don't know. I don't know. It's something I want to do, but I'm not going to do it today. Maybe that's going to be a primarily stream project. I could see that being that. So I don't know. I don't know. There's so there's there's uh, a few projects that I want to do here next. There's these three towers. Now they're not real size. They're going to be bigger than that. There uh, there's some landscaping. Like see all this uh, stone. Like blah. It's not interesting. If you come over here, even though this is essentially just cobblestone, spruce leaves, and andesite, all of a sudden it is interesting. So I do want to do that through all that. Just a random sort of hodgepodge of stone of uh, cobblestone in in the andesite. See all these cliffs. Like, 
There are these sections that need to be fully flushed out of green. Like all the flat areas have got to be green. And then I'm probably going to put towers on them. Like you see how, let me show you what, what the goal is. You see how these two towers connect and how awesome it is? that they connect via a little like a raised uh, bridge sort of situation. That's exactly what I want to do to all these towers. So uh, I've done it a couple times already. Like for example, let me find one. I think these two, yeah, these two connect, these two right here connect and you walk under it. I think I want to say, oh, well these two connect via wall, but I thought, Maybe I had... Oh, no, these do connect. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, these two big ones connect, and they connect, like, right there, okay? So, I I've been thinking I really would like to add, add that. I'd really like to add a lot more connectings to the towers and stuff like that. But if you think about it, if I put a tower here, where how high up am I going to have to be before I even get to a place where I can connect it? Like, here, I guess? That's pretty tall, right? So, this is going to be a big tower. Um... So I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I think what we should do is maybe landscape this area today. If we landscape this area today, then I'm going to have, I think, maybe a really good bead on where I want the towers to be. So why don't we do that? Why don't we do that today? That'll be a fun little project. Um, I'm not even going to record it. You've seen me do it. It's literally just putting down these four blocks in large quantities, which I'm probably going to have to go make, make more. Uh, so let me do that and then I'll come back and we'll talk about the cliffs and, and all that stuff. Okay, I'm gonna work on, yeah, I'm gonna work on this side of the, uh, of the castle today. I think that'll be cool. That means now it's time to go do it. Okay, alright, I'll see you on the other side. Let's just say this is a lot of work. This is a lot of work, man. It takes a long time to do this and it's really grindy. This is something I should probably do on Twitch, to be honest, uh, now that I'm streaming quite a bit. Uh, today I can't because I have a plumber coming today to actually fix a problem that they created, but that's okay. They'll hopefully fix it. So I had a, I, it's, it's kind of embarrassing to admit as a grown adult man of 43 years old. That's right, I'm 43, everybody. Illusion broken. Anyway, it, it's so, um, we had a new floor put in our, our bathroom here, which really needed it because it was laminate flooring. And if you're ever if you're ever building a house, don't put laminate flooring in a bathroom because it is not waterproof and then your floor can get rotted anyway. So we had to put a, a new tile floor in. So we did that. And uh, then I was just getting ready to uh, put the toilet on and I looked and what happened when they ripped up the old flooring, um, unfortunately, when they ripped up the old flooring, a lot of the new uh, flooring is a lot shorter like a lot thinner than the old flooring so the flange was sticking up pretty high and it's like an old flange it's like an old big freaking iron flange you know which i'm stunned because our house isn't that old i'm stunned that they actually used that at the time that they built this house but uh yeah so anyway so what that means is unfortunately i could not mount the toilet myself so i had to call a plumber in and which they did and while they were there i asked the plumber it's like hey can you take a look at this uh sink i need to move this sink pipe over about half an inch to fit this new vanity that we're putting in uh cabinet you know whatever okay later okay uh, too late missed him uh and he's like yeah sure and he took a look he's like yeah you know i could probably do, do that while i'm here i was like well okay why don't you do that because you know cutting in the wall and and all that kind of stuff that that's like a headache it's just you're, you're waiting to, to make some sort of terrible mistake or something, you know? So I thought, well, let's have a professional do it. So he did it. And then uh, he called me in at the end of the work. He's like, hey, can you come come take a look at this? And, and he showed me my wife's sink. And yeah, that's what we, we kind of have. Different, I use basically the kids' bathrooms because I'm a disgusting, messy dude. And my wife is like a perfectly clean, uh, amazing uh, vixen of a woman. And, and it's just better in our marriage if I use a different bathroom so she doesn't yell at me all the time. Anyway, so uh, so I, I go into my wife's bathroom. And he's like, hey, so this sink, uh, did it always have pretty limited water pressure? And I'm like, you know, I kind of think it did, but I don't really remember. So my wife gets home and he's like, well, okay, it should, should be all right. So my wife gets home and she's like, uh, what's going on with my sink? This water pressure sucks. This is not how it was before. And uh, I was like, well, I didn't know that. And the plumber did tell me that maybe there was something wrong. But uh, anyway, so the plumber's coming back. They're coming back to sort of <clears throat> hopefully fix. I haven't looked at it yet, but ho I'm hoping that they can fix sort of the problem that somehow they created when they moved that pipe over. I hopefully it's not a big deal, but 
I am braced. I am braced that it will be a big deal because nothing is ever small and easy in, in home repair. Nothing ever, ever in the history of time has ever been easy uh, for a home repair. So anyway, that's why I can't stream right now today <laughs> because I am uh, waiting for the uh, waiting for the plumber to show up and I'm gonna have to, you know, obviously go up there and sort of show them what's going on and what the, what the other guy did. Same company, just different dude. Uh, so yeah, gotta work on that. Anyway, that's a pretty great story, right? <laughs> I'm sure that's what you all tuned in for. Like, hey, uh, I, you know, I'd like to watch the Minecraft, but what I'd really like is to have Fix tell me about his plumbing issues. And uh, there you go. Your dream is, is satisfied. Merry, Merry Christmas, everybody. I just gave you the best present that money can buy, which is uh, my house plumbing disaster. Anyway, this is what I've been working on. I've been working on just kind of coming up. It's generally a little easier if I come up from the, from the top than the bottom because I can kind of hit it as I go down and less scaffolding and all that kind of stuff and and honestly i can i can just put it on top as well like i can just put it right on top because i think that's a good look and now i'm just coming in with full blocks uh in fact i think i'm almost out actually i am yeah uh i'm just coming in with full blocks to uh of this and then later i'll come in with stairs and slabs and then later after that i'll probably come in with some dirt and make some little dirt landings um like see all this this overhang that's there's the only way to do this is scaffolding unfortunately that's just that's just the way it is so uh, yeah, let me take you, uh, we'll just do a little flyby here. Let's see. Okay, that should be good. And here's what we did. That's not too bad, right? It's not too bad. It's a lot of, uh, real grindy stuff, you know, but it's coming along. It's coming along. I'm really, oh, I actually forgot this little landing. That's okay. We'll do it another time. And there's actually a landing down here as well. And I don't know what I want to do. This landing is so much further. Oh my goodness. I thought I just threw my sword like out into the void <laughs> uh th this lower landing is so much lower i, I want i feel like i want to do something special for it but i don't really know what but here you can see all these little landings oh man it's coming together i'm really loving it it's so cool yeah i can't wait to actually build on them um but that's not going to happen today <laughs> not not by a long shot because doing this landscaping stuff takes a long time what i need to do next is go up and get a whole bunch of spruce um, leaves uh, to, to help. Like here, let's take a look at this. Let me show you a, a little. Like I really like the way I did sort of these cliffs with like a lot of spruce since spruce is really the only green vegetation that we have here in the end because everything else is purple with biome dependent colors. Now we're gonna lose that with Optifine. If I took off Optifine right now, you'd keep the bushy leaves, but you would lose all the grass would be green again. You know, and I like the purple grass. So we'll keep that in, in future versions once Optifine releases for 115, uh, which we're not yet on 115 at the time of this recording. That's going to happen here in a, a day or two. I don't know for now, but but yeah, I need to get a lot more spruce uh, leaves next so I can so I can um, uh, go go do this. And actually, what I really need to do probably is find a place to do a spruce farm around here. So Oh, man, I think the next thing we might do on stream, oh, man, it's either, maybe I'll give the stream an option, viewers on, on, uh, an option of either filling this all in with dirt, not the circle, but like these parts, and then that would be a great place to do spruce. Uh, we could actually do a spruce forest or something like that. That would be kind of, ooh, wait a second. Wait a second. I just had an idea. You know what? Let's go for a fly. Actually, you know what would be better? Let's go for spectator mode because that would be way better so we can talk about it. I just had an idea. and I So I'm going to ask you, and I need to hear in the comments what you think, okay? And then I'll wait for the comments to sort of decide how we how we go in this. But I just had an idea that may be brilliant or may be terrible, and you'll have to tell me which it is, okay? Let's go take a look over here. So uh, the circles I have plans for, the circles are going to be some towers, probably some like airships, that kind of stuff. But these things, these like sort of butterfly wing shaped things, I've uh, been planning on maybe wheat fields, which could be cool. You know what, you know what else would be cool though? Because there's eight of them. Is what if we did biomes? What if we did biomes here? Now, I don't know how we would do biomes because of the purple grass and purple leaves and stuff, you know? Uh, desert would be no problem. Um, what? Okay, so we could do, let's count. Desert, Mesa, that would be no problem. Uh, ocean would be very difficult, but no problem. Um, let's see. That was actually an idea by, I think, Andy. I think what, maybe Andy Days or maybe Jim. I can't remember which one. So wait, Desert, Mesa. Uh, wait, what is it? Desert, Mesa ocean 
Uh, now here comes some of the problems because of we uh, we could use this you know we could use this as as grass we could do a taiga that would be really easy with the the mostly dirt and coarse dirt and stuff like that. Um, if we went for eight, hmm, what would we do if we went for eight? Because uh, that would make it more complicated. We could do like hmm, I don't know because they'd be purple leaves. I mean, we could use all spruce. That one thing that we could. Oh, hey, hey, spruce trees. I think Sai must be doing this because uh, Sai's building this this uh, smelter over here. Actually, it looks like he's been on I'm doing some stuff. Ha! <sighs> I don't know. I don't know if we did like we'd have to use all spruce for all the leaves. See, look, see the problem down here. This tree, like you can tell that uh, Callus, I think, built this, and and he mixed the leaves. And back when he built it, I think I'm pretty sure it was you know, regular colors before version 2.1 that added this. If you, by the way, if you want 2.1 texture pack, you can get it on my discord. So just come and check it out and also hang out with us. It's a really, really fun place to hang with. So I don't know. So Leo, look, let me know what you think. Let me, what about filling these up instead of with wheat? What if we did biomes? Uh, but I need eight biomes and I need creative ways to do eight biomes. I don't know how we do that, but that could be a much cooler thing than just feel wheat fields. Huh? That's a really interesting idea, I think. But you know what? I think that's going to wrap it up for me today. I've been trying to keep these episodes a lot shorter, a little bit more bite-sized. And uh, believe it or not, I did a lot, did a lot of work today. Uh, a lot of landscaping, even though you didn't see it on camera. But you did get to see the palace working. Boy, oh boy, is it coming along, right? All right. So let's wrap it up there. Please subscribe to all my friends. Uh, and uh, the new Vasta members should be linked in this video. I finally, I finally remembered to update my stuff. And I will see you all next episode. Thanks so much. Love you all. And have a good day. Have a, have a great day. Not a good day. Have a great day. Darn it. Have a great day. Bye, everybody.